Underneath the crystal clear waters of the tropics lies a complex community with an abundance of life. This community that I speak of is called the coral reef. Coral reefs are the tropical rainforests of the seas where you'll find a large diversity and abundance of organisms living there in the one community. Nowhere else on earth can you find living organisms with such spectacular colors and fantastic shapes as you do on the coral reefs. Stony corals are also known as true corals, and those are the corals that you will find living in the shallow tropical waters. They produce large reefs and they deposit a material called calcium carbonate that makes up the structure of coral reefs. Tropical coral reefs will not develop in waters where the average annual temperature is below 18 degrees Celsius. Coral reefs love and thrive in warm water, so you'll find them growing in places where the average annual water temperature is between 23 degrees Celsius and 25 degrees Celsius. Almost all of the world's coral reefs are confined to tropical seas. But what are coral reefs? Are they plants? Are they animals? If you take a close look at any reef, you'll notice that there's a large colony of animals called coral polyps. These coral polyps are a part of the phylum that's called Nideria. In the Nideria phylum, you'll also find sea anemones and the jellyfish. And if we zoom in even a little further, and you take a look at the tissues of each individual coral polyp, you'll notice that there's a type of algae called a dinoflagellite that lives within the tissues of the coral polyps. These dinoflagellates are called zooxanthellae. In fact, many marine organisms have zooxanthellae living within the tissues, including corals, jellyfish, and mollusks. The zooxanthellae and the coral polyps have a working symbiotic relationship. That means there's a win-win relationship between the two organisms. The zooxanthellae provides nutrients like glucose, amino acids. Also, it provides oxygen for the polyp and energy. And the coral polyp provides a safe habitat for the zooxanthellae. It also provides nutrients, carbon dioxide, and nitrogen as well. The relationship between the zooxanthellae and the coral polyps works so well that reef building corals do not grow any deeper than where the sunlight can penetrate in order to make sure that the zooxanthellae can receive sunlight for their photosynthetic needs.